I'm James Levin. I'm a Cleveland resident. I live nearby here in Ohio City, and I'm the director of the newly formed Cleveland Bridge Project. And I'm Terry Schwartz from the Cleveland Urban Design Collaborative at Kent State. And we're here at the Detroit Superior Bridge on the streetcar level. Streetcar level, immediately below the traffic Three, two, deck. That's nice. Span. And the stretch is about miles, a little less than one mile span. On the west side, at the bottom of the stairs, an area that we were to as the catacombs, there's an area where the streetcar tracks converge. Uh, and you can see the tunnels very clearly uh, underneath 25th and Detroit. A lot of interesting nooks and crannies, a lot of chambers and ramps that could be animated somehow. And then if you keep walking, it opens up into a, an incredible invitation, this great span of space. So it looks like it kind of goes on forever. And the Bridge Project is an effort to think about the bridge as a permanent year-round public space. You know, it's a surplus piece of infrastructure that um, just has a lot of potential for public use. So we're trying to figure out how to make that possible. What we're in right now could be a succession of galleries. I could be uh, sporadically placed performance areas, performance spaces, could have live music every night. I mean, we see this place open and animated year-round, 365, uh, people walking from West 25th Street, going to the casino, going to the queue, going to the Terminal Tower to see a movie, maybe people in the Warehouse District or in East 4th Street who are living there, or people in offices that want to bike or walk to the West Side Market or to a restaurant in Ohio City or even to the Gordon Square Arts District and see a play at the Cleveland Public Theater. In James's head, he already knows what needs to be here, but I think that, you know, because it is a public space, there's an opportunity for the public to weigh in on that topic. Um, and there's rare places in Cleveland. You can have this kind of view. You see the river, the lake, you see the industrial heritage, you see the, the red brick that is just so iconically Cleveland. And I think there's very few spaces in the city that really events a sense of space and city like this one. So I, my, my thought is that when people will come to Cleveland, they'll go to a ball game, they'll go to the Rock Hall, and they're going to come to the bridge because this is really the, what, what's magical about this city.